Hey Star Wars Collectors, it's Dark Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. And this time I have Embo the Bounty Hunter, an older figure. I think he was released last year, uh, 2011, in the Clone Wars collection. Um, there's been some great episodes of the Clone Wars uh, Season 4 a couple weeks back where we've seen Embo uh, in, in some of those episodes. And he's just such a cool character. Um, definitely one of my favorite characters from the series. You know, everything he's been in, he's been awesome. Just big fan of Embo. So, decided to review his figure. So, let's get on to it. All right. So, here we go. Here's Embo. I don't remember the name of the species, but um, he was inspired by that the Japanese samurai. It's inspired his look. So we have the soft goods skirt with what looks like some writing. I don't think it's Orabesh. Okay. And then over the soft goods skirt, there's a plastic, you know, piece. Some nice uh, uh, intricate details right there. De decorative, some decorative lines looks nice. Okay. Got the boots. Should look good. Nice brown color to them. Okay. And then let's remove his crossbow to get a better look at his chest armor. So you've got the bandolier slung across with some shells right there. Looks nice. Uh, the chest armor with the shoulder pads has an emblem right there. Nice little detail. Okay. The back of the bandolier, there is two uh, holsters for the knives, which of course are removable. Mm, come on. I'm gonna take off his hat. It's one of the things I don't like about the figure. I'll talk about that later. So. So you got the daggers there, which you can hold or place in his holsters. A little kunai type weapon. Very cool. Throw a knife. So those two are both removable. Okay. You've got the arms, the gloves, very nice. And then the head sculpt, Get a closer look at the head sculpt. It's pretty good. Nice and nicely molded. Get the breathing apparatus, I'm not sure what it is. The eyes look good. So, looks great. Okay. The uh, chest armor, this part right here, is is removable. The, the shoulder armor with the bandolier. Okay, just have to pop off his head. I'm not going to do that. And then there's the belt. Okay. So great looking figure, really, really good looking figure. Okay, the hat is one of my gripes with this figure. Uh, just falls off easily. I mean, the hat itself looks great. You've got some battle damage right there. Um, you know, you can tell that the, that the hat's been through some, through some heavy uh, battles. So some dents and some you know, indentations of bullets. I mean, it looks great. And, you know, he, of course, he uses this as his weapon in the series. Kind of like Captain America does with his shield. So, it just falls off. You know, it's a pain to put on. You know, it just seems like right now it's actually staying on, but usually it tends to fall off pretty easily. I don't know. It's my one of my few gripes with this figure. Okay. And then as for the crossbow... His other accessory. I think it's new. Um, another gripe is that these little parts keep, will come off easily. So if you're just displaying the figure, it's not such a big deal, but um, it tends to be annoying. But, you know, it's a nice weapon for the most part. They just come off easily. But you can, you know, 
spread them out. Okay. All right. And then there's a peg, but I'm not sure if there's a peg on the actual figure. Doesn't seem like it. So it might be a, a the the weapon itself might be a repack of of somebody else's weapon. Okay. As for articulation, you have the ball jointed head, the ball jointed shoulders, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged um, elbows. Swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged ankles, and ball hinged knees. So some great articulation. Okay. And I do have this card. So you can look at that. Great image of Embo from season two. Okay. So overall I do highly recommend Embo, you know, just not because he's just my, one of my favorite characters of, of all time, but he's he's a great figure, great articulation, some good accessories, some good detail, awesome, awesome figure. So uh, besides this, I have something extra today. I usually don't show hauls, it's not my thing, but I went to a convention not too long ago here in Sacramento, uh, and um, I got some great stuff uh, for 45 bucks. I got the clone trooper, uh, the clo cold weather clone trooper with Frico speeder. Um, I got the Royal Guard, the red one from the Revenge of the uh, Sith uh, line, 2005. I got the 501st clone trooper, um, a Walmart exclusive from the Clone Wars, uh, 2008, and uh, two really awesome packages, uh, figures that I want to show off. And the first one which is the animated Boba Fett from the Anniversary Collection which is very cool nice mint package okay so I got that one and then I got um, this one uh, Macquarie, may he, may, uh, may he rest in peace uh, Macquarie Concept uh, Boba Fett so um, also from the Anniversary Collection and uh, there he is, you know, great, great artist. Sad to see him go. Um, you know, he definitely contributed a lot to what Star Wars is, and definitely is one of the 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 people who who made Star Wars what it is today. So, you know, it's unfortunate to have him pass. Okay. So, you know, very awesome figure with that helmet that we've seen recently on the Clone Wars as as homage to him. So I'm debating whether or not to open them. You know, let me know what you think. Uh, I don't have these figures, and I don't keep things carded. I only have one other figure carded, and I'm I just haven't opened them. And I got these a week ago, so you know I don't know what to do. So let me know. Um, thank you for subscribing. Subscribe, please. You know, I enjoy making these videos, and and thank you those who leave comments. Definitely love talking to the Star Wars community. I say I say that many times only because I do. All right, all right. So until then. May the force be with you.